<laughs> Why is this open? Don't close it, I'm going out. Thank you. Oof. Right. Let's go see Devon before we... Uh, hey. Any call I'll call you you don't want? Yes. I'll give you ten. Here you go. Thank you, my friend. As a word of warning, remember this. Never try to kill a skeleton, for they are already the undead. Well. Thank you. Uh, Devon. He's on the beach, isn't he? Ah. ah. Where's he gone? Ah. Oh, that fucking fire. Have his own house somewhere. Right, let's try and. Is she still eating? No. Ah, fuck, she's in there. Okay, let's save it. Do a proper save since these have all been quick saves. So this is for the dagger. At this very moment, Britannia burns. I'm sure it does. Just sneaking in. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Restore sight, scroll visibility. There's the dagger. Cheers, love. Sure. I don't want her to wake up. Thank you. So where does Devon live? No, I was about to say I've met him in a house, but I haven't. Have I? It's um, that's Ber Beran, 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 Beren. Oh, he lives in West Tenebrae. Let's see if we can find that. Oof. I'm going to jump in water.
this is all fucked. Yep. Nice head explosion. Maybe it's just ketchup. Get in! There's at least someone in this house, which is massive. Hello. What's your name? My name is Jenna. I'm yours. I'm slim. It's a pretty name. Ladies come here after, then I'm afraid you've come to the wrong establishment. Why do you carry a sword? Because it's mine, I'll have you know. I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, what's in there? You know how to use a sword? Yes, this blade sent more than one man running for his life. You've killed men? Only one or two, most not stay clear of me. Why do they stay clear? I stay clear because I don't want them around. My father calls them suitors. I call them a nuisance. It's a nice blade. Yes, it's a fine blade. Have you ever seen finer? No. Well, all I've left from my grandfather before he died, he gave me this sword, told me to wear it with pride, and I always have. Where did he learn to wield it? My father taught me he always wanted a son, but all he got was, a, was me. He taught me, he determined to marry me off there. Good day to you. Curse this leg. Greeting stranger, what can I do for you? Name's Orlok. Might be yours. I'm Slingor. Well, Slingor is a fine name indeed. Stay a while and listen. Stay a while and listen. What do you do? I'm the bartender. Can I get you a drink? I'll have a drink. What will you have? What are the choices? Tenebrae Nale, Vintage Black Wine, Feist Little Brew called Hurricane, Breath of Spirit, and Hard Stuff Cloven Hoof. I'll have Cloven Hoof. Here is the amount. Goodbye. No, I'm not thirsty. One of your tales. I'm in Bucko. Now, right for a tell about a ghost that was Hillsborough Tenebrae. I would like to hear that. And yes. You see, great 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 grandpappy John Blowhard spent most of his days in the sea. In the sea. On the sea. Said he came across the lost treasure of the ancient kings. Gold, my friend. Gold belonging to Walter's dreams. 
Well, that gold back here to celebrate with the idea of settling without the rest of your life in comfort. Well, that was not to be for a no more comfortable place to live. No more found a comfortable place to live. Then the dreams began to play him terrible nightmares. He'd have now a great great grandpappy went for it, and not only is the bravest man alive, but these dreams would wake him screaming and shaking with fright. In his dreams, the ghosts of the ancient kings would visit him and demand their treasure back. Night after night, these spe spectres appeared, but my great great grandpappy wouldn't give up the treasure. One night, after a particularly frightful visit, he had an idea. He would take the treasure and hide it where, where no one would ever find it, so he took a shovel treasure disappeared into the hills, never to see any alive again. Some would say the those hills still were seen patrolling the area where the treasure is hid, but no one yet has found the courage to find out. Ooh, could that be a clue? in here. This explains why the building's so big. I don't know about Salkington, I don't know much about him, except he's always at the side lady, my dear. I'm sure I trust, not sure I trust him. Why don't you trust him? Well, Tempest is always real alone. This tennis shell bit seems to go against our fine line of tradition. Not sure I agree, but then Lady Rodia seems to like him, so I'll protect him as well as her. Tell me about Tenebrae. The finest gem is for Palace. Who's Lady Rodia? Fine. So, why are you here? <laughs> okay, maybe I won't go that way then. Ooh. <laughs> oh! Hello, Devon. Not as well, I hope. News. Just about to ask you the same for a nah, There's nothing to tell the shame about Torrent, though, is it not? Who is Torrent? Good man, he was. Torrent was the gem cutter. Uh, the guy executed. His work's quite good, I can tell you. If ever son are quite distraught, you blame them. His son. His son does not handle grief like his mother. Torwin has decided to take matters into his own hands, though, and the Titans know what he'll do. So as violence would not be out of the question, I can only hope this is not the case, for even if he could get past the guards, Muddy's ability is more than adequate to stave off his assault, his wife. Poor Rianne should not handle the execution well. They've been married for more than 20 years. All he does now, all she does now is sit by her loom and weep. Right, Torrin, who's killed, he was executed for the lady's command. I know the reasons they gave, but Torrin was another blasphemer. There was tyranny in the city, that's sure. Be careful to speak to others. Goodbye. Ah, can I not tell you about your girlfriend? Hello, Devon. Hello, friend. Tell me news. Let's see Bentic. I think he was saying. Well. This was a pointless exercise.
got the dagger, so I need to go back to cemetery. Um, I'll move then. God's sake. Don't worry about me just charging around. I just hit the wrong fucking button there. I saved it when I shouldn't have done. I said you couldn't kill him. Hammer. Uh, maybe because I've got a magic weapon I can kill him. Already, are we? Uh, my friend. <laughs> I have the dagger. Truly, you have the dagger. Bless you, my friend. Bless you. Your time is perfect for I need the dagger immediately. And I please have the dagger. Thank you, my friend. You have done good services today, and your time could not be better. For, as you can see, Lothian lies upon the altar, barely clinging to life. For your service, I will grant you this boon. Did you ask of me? I will introduce you to the necromancer, but first, stand witness to the ceremony of eternity. The time has come for Lothian and I to perform the ceremony. Please follow my instructions closely. Are you prepared, Lothian? All of my life I have prepared for this, Vividos. I beg you now, send me to the Mountain King. Very well, please, my friend, stand beside the altar. Please kneel before the altar of passage. Lord Lithos, Mountain King, eldest and mightiest of the four titans, we come forth to send your fearful, faithful servant, Lothian, to your waiting arms. Tell us now, Lord of the Underworld, does this uh, our sacrifice please you? Mm. Yes, Lord, take me. I'm ready to greet you, Mountain King. But I'll rejoice, for Lithos is pleased with this our sacrifice. Now prepare to greet the ambassadors from Lithos' realm. Call Corp. The dead now surround you, Lothian. Prepare yourself for your lord. The grave opens before me. Be you cleanse for death. Lithos awaits you. Sweet dagger, I am your sheath. Wear me now, lovely blade. Go now to the mountain king. From life to death, from death to Lithos. Ex Ort Corp. Ort Des Lithos. Now shall we bow in reverence of deeds here done unto the awesome might of the Mountain King. All is done, Lothi may now join her lord. Arise, my friend. What about the zombies? You may now greet the necromancer, my friend, for I now am he. You are the necromancer. I am now. With Lothian's passage, I step forward and take her place. With Lothian's Sion, I was next in the necromatic line of succession. Is Sion. Sion is a necromancer's chosen successor. It's the normal for the necromancer's first apprentice to be the Sion. It's sad to say, 
But I was loath the Insonia apprentice, now I am need of an apprentice. You need an apprentice? Yes I do. Well the, on this subject it occurs to me that that man of exceptional qualities, both physical and spiritual. Do you wish to become my apprentice? Yes, clearly. I know nothing of you. I'll do whatever you say. As my apprentice, I would have you begin your studies immediately. Much must be learned before one can wield the magic of necromancer. What must I do? First you must gather some reagents for me, return them to me, and I'll teach you of their magical properties. There will be other tasks to follow. If you accomplish all of them correctly, I shall make you my apprentice, and most likely the Sion. After that, you will make a pilgrimage. I'll learn magic. Indeed you will, my apprentice. By the time that I've completed your studies, you'll be capable of more than you ever dreamed possible. What reagents do you need? I need you to bring me a sample of Executioner's Hood from a place of danger and fallen sticks from a place where spirits roam. Uh, these items are magical. Each taken individually, the items' magical properties are inert. However, when blended together under proper conditions and instrumentations, their uh, magical qualities are unlocked. All this you'll learn in time. Not can you set a pilgrimage now? As much you must have done before you even think about your holy pilgrimage. There's much to learn. Indeed, there is apprentice. That's why you must consult the library freely and often. You'll learn much about uh, magic. What's executioner's hood look like? It's black, leafy plant grows nearby between graveyard and tenebra. Look for the hood under a large tree. It's a rare plant to look across. Eh? Where spirits are. Um, yeah, it's very important. Go to Western Tenebrae there. You'll find the sticks better known as dead man's elbows. That I need. Where is the library? Look, it's just upstairs. Feel free to use it any time. Will you help me learn? Yes, of course. My student is part of my responsibility to teach you all that I know. Farewell. Right. Let's save it. So, uh, Vividos. So, not a lot is what I've been doing. What's the matter, dog? Do you need a wee? I guess so, by the look on that face. Right. Oh. We know where what we need is, so I'll just go let the dog out now, she'll be back in a minute. 